Hey guys, so this is going to be a video I'm going to be talking about is, you're probably thinking why am I speaking about this as a girl, but I find it so weird with men's like culture when it comes to bodybuilding and test the, t- well not even just bodybuilding but test the right, t- I can't even fucking say it. <laughs> you know the male hormone and how it's supposed to decrease when you're older, which it doesn't happen to everyone but it's so basically i was watching a kenny Co video and it was on about because he likes to confront other people like bodybuilders and ask him if they're on something if they're on like trt steroids that kind of thing and i don't know his name he's the one guy he looks kind of weird it looks like he's had a lot of plastic surgery like he looks like a jacked up kendall anyway like not you know like bad way his just face looks really plastic anyway i can't remember his name i can't remember to search it up and basically he said because he mentioned about how testosterone kenny came mentioned how testosterone goes down when you get older and he was like as to why you know you should be saying it's wouldn't you like take it and stuff he's like no it doesn't and he's actually right and i even comment on the video actually it's not to do, <laughs> to do with age it's other factors as well so <laughs> It doesn't always happen. Um, sometimes it does happen, but a lot of the time it's linked to kind of other kind of. It's kind of a correlation, <laughs> correlation. Yeah, that's the word. A correlation of other stuff that can help that help bring the testosterone lower quickly. I mean, obviously not help. I mean, it's not good if your testosterone <laughs> testosterone levels um decrease rapidly, but. It doesn't drop massively, like, it doesn't drop to, I mean, unless, as I said, in rare cases, but usually it's linked if you've got other, like, ailments that are happening to you, it doesn't drop that much, like, it drops slightly with every age, like, from the, from the age of, like, 30, it drops slightly, so it shouldn't make a lot of difference to your like gym workout and stuff like that can I just bear in this mind this guy is probably on something anyway but (laughs) I'm just trying to kind of like make a point now in America so if you don't live in the UK or America well a lot of places you have to pay for your health care unless you're Canada but in the NHS you don't pay for your um technically you don't pay pay for your um healthcare but technically you do it comes out of national it comes out your national insurance that goes towards it but you don't like physically get a bill that you have to pay um any every time you end up like in the hospital you have to see a doctor the only thing we have to pay for is dentists um actually depending i think if you're unemployed you get to see the dentist for free um for obvious reasons and i think it's the same with eye tests as well anyway going off topic in america you can pay literally you have to pay so if you go to your doctor and you've got like low slightly low testosterone they're gonna like oh you can pump it up you know what i mean like it's easier for them to just grab testosterone and be like yes yeah, see I'm, i need it when clear when sometimes yeah it might be slightly low but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's it's not dropped that as i said unless there's something other other there's other aspects that can make your testosterone drop rapidly but a normal healthy person or guy should I say a normal healthy guy it doesn't drop that massively and it shouldn't make too much unless you're like a 90 year old maybe and you're still at the gym maybe but even then it's 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 one of those things where it's weird in America because they think that it 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 automatically drops and they need to have it and it's that's not the case that really isn't the case like if you went so you can get obviously medically if you are medically low you can you know get a top up but if you came if you came if you moved to the uk or whatever and you got a test somewhere and it said your testosterone has dropped a little bit and then you try and you know i need some kind of more kind of like some added testosterone the doctor doctors over here will laugh at you because you don't need 
de- unless it's causing massive issues like you know low um lib- libido that's what you call it you mean low kind of like sex drive per se. i was trying to use a spot word or any or other issues as well then yeah then it becomes a problem but it drops slightly you don't need it <laughs> you don't need as i said it's from like as i said it's like depending on each individual person but a lot of the time you do not it doesn't drop to the point where you actually need a booster it doesn't drop that the only way I would say if you take steroids because this is the thing anyway if you take story steroids and then you later at life you decide to stop your testosterone can actually just drop and um, but then it's your own fault for taking steroids for half your life so even then you don't even have to take it half your life it can just happen um which is a side effect of taking hormones anyway um um for men anyway um but yeah so that's that's basically what i want to share with you guys it's just weirds me out a little bit the culture around it um i'm now 40 i need a testosterone booster when you might not actually need it so i mean yeah you're paying for it so i mean whatever <laughs> do whatever you want but you're kind of wasting your money at some point <laughs> so yeah that's basically it for this video so bye guys <laughs>